What is up my friends, Watchmen, the show that just keeps on giving. So, after last week's episode, after Angela pretty much was overdosing on nostalgia, and we saw Hooded Justice be actually her grandfather, and we went back in time and saw everything unfold, we are now back in the present time for this episode. And what we see is that we see her own memories now at the beginning of her losing her parents and grandmother in in Vietnam and also Reeves' memories still as well. So Angela actually also finds out that Dr. Mount Haddon has actually been on Earth this whole time and not in Mars as we've been uh, pretty much told to believe throughout the whole series. And that he is actually here in Tulsa disguised as a human. True tells her that she is aware of the cavalry's plan to capture and destroy Dr. Manhattan. And they want to become like him. Angela still breaks free, rushes home. And after she tells her husband, Cal, that she loves him, she then bashes his head with a hammer and pulls out a small dish shaped after Manhattan's hydrogen symbol. We then learn as Lori gets captured and taken to the cavalry headquarters that Joe reveals the plan that the cavalry actually have and that is to capture Dr. Manhattan in order to aid them in a fight against white discrimination. We also see that Looking Glass is nowhere to be found and no signs of him at all but we see that his fallout shelter is filled with bodies of the cavalry. And then Ozymandias, of course, pops up one more time as he is put on trial by the game warden. And this is where we see that he is pretty much for all of the clones' deaths that he's caused put on trial. And this is where our episode ends and two more episodes to go. So pretty much Watchmen has taken us to places I never thought we were going with Watchmen. And it is a completely different story and that's not a bad thing. But this new Dr. Manhattan thing is something we've all been pretty much assuming was the main thing with Dr. Manhattan is everybody's trying to get a hold of him in order to win whatever this battle is and it makes sense that the cavalry would want something or someone as strong as Dr. Manhattan on their side with whatever rates where they are trying to provoke and it is going to be interesting to see exactly how all of this is going to be played out but I think the biggest twist of them all was that Dr. Manhattan has been in front of our eyes the whole time and not in Mars as we were led to believe which is something that the cavalry will soon probably be able to um, get to so it's going to be interesting the next two episodes how it all ends the next episode is called a god walks into a bar a god I am assuming they're talking about Dr. Manhattan so I'm excited to see that but what are your thoughts on the Watchmen show? How do you think it's all going to culminate? And what do you think is going to be a conclusive end to all of this? Will we see Dr. Manhattan and Ozymandias have an encounter? How will the cavalry be brought down? And are we going to end on a cliffhanger for season two? That is the big question. Um, but I definitely do believe that the next two episodes will be decisive in all of that. And I'm sure, like, without a doubt that there is going to be some more twist as we go into this ending, which is just so good. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think they're going to do with Dr. Manhattan? Will he be able to fight back or will he fall to the cavalry and will it take another force to be able to bring us back to stability? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. But yeah, just as the last episode, we saw that they are trying to pretty much... I mean, it just makes sense that this new um, revitalization of the KKK is trying to do something. And I think they are trying to harness Dr. Manhattan's power for whatever evil that may be. And as we saw in the previous episode, this extraordinary being, they have done things in the past in order to manipulate what they want happen. So I'm pretty sure that they've thought that, hey, well, if we can harness this guy's power, Dr. Manhattan, we can pretty much rule the world and we can become the superior um, race, which is what they want. So um, we're going to find out exactly how that's all going to work out. If Ozymandias is going to be in any aid to anybody in all of this. And exactly how they can take down the cavalry is two episodes uh, from now. So, what are your thoughts? How is this going to end? Let me know below. But anyways, as always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I got some videos coming up on The Mandalorian theories for rise of the skywalker we got a bunch of trailers coming this week for sure i know we got the uh, no time to die from bond on wednesday uh supposedly black widow might drop as well soon and yeah i'm excited for all that 
Anyways, as always, haven't subscribed, get to it. We are 10,000 subscribers. That's our goal, and we will get there. I'll see you all next time. Stay positive.